We're just gonna blur these out. Just blur that. I don't even know what to think about this thing. Wild. I'm in the Gear Off-Road booth with an awesome Gladiator here. Check this out, I've never seen this before. Full-on airbag suspension uh, on the front with some Quake LED lights right here. The DV8 stubby bumper is really clean, and I love that they've paint matched uh, not only the gray, but also the orange. Coming through the back, you got lights from head to toe, really sweet wrap. I love these DV8 fenders and the inner fenders. The two-tone look is really cool. Awesome Gladiator with some monster, looks like 37 inch tires and 22, 23 inch uh, gear off-road wheels. Heading down Mickey Thompson Lane here, we have a couple of rad Gladiator builds with 42 inch Baja Boss tires. These things are monsters. You're gonna wanna make sure that you either have a supercharger on your Gladiator or a diesel uh, six cylinder because those are insane. We got the Factor 55 little toe hook right there, and then we got the Fox 2.5 performance shocks with the anti rock off road sway bar. That's going to make sure to keep these 42 inch monsters at bay. Uh, now, this build is an awesome overlanding build with the Baja Boss, which are the same side. Now, these are the 40s. Um, but a lot of the same components on this build as well. What I like about this one is you have the full rooftop tent, tough, tough stuff overland. This thing is really set up for adventure. Uh, in the back, look how clean the storage system is. I love being able to mount your, uh, your cases on the side of the rack. And this rack is so high that it keeps everything up and out. I would like to see something covered back there, but overall, uh, you could take this thing out, explore the wilderness. All right, we got a sweet Gladiator build here. Besides the angry eyes, you know how I feel about those. Uh, DVA from head to toe, including these inner fenders. You got a full rigid light bar right here. This is the, I think, 8XL Pro. No, the Adapt. Oh, this is the Adapted GPS. So this actually adjusts depending on your driving speed. It will be super wide when you're going slow and spot when you're going fast. Plus, we got the rigid lights right here and uh, some Adapt pod lights. I really like these side steps. These are really clean by DV8. And then you also have the ability to pull that down for a little step, a little uh, beer opener. And in the back, we got a full overlanding setup, huge CVT, Cascade vehicle tents, I think, um, rooftop tent. And then also these wheels are fuel off-road wheels, true beadlocks it looks like. I really like this tonneau cover or this canopy, the ARE fiberglass lighter weight than the steel canopies, but also gives the ability to protect everything on the inside. And as you can see, the rack is actually mounted directly to it, which is a sign of how strong it is. Behind me is a sweet Rebel Off-Road Gladiator build. And some of the things that I like about it, you have a nice little spotlight in this section with the Fox 2.5 Performance shocks coilovers right there. Uh, 30. 40 inch tires with threat off-road bead locks. Um, these are really cool looking. And one thing that I noticed on here, you got a little protective cover on the LEDs for the fenders, uh, which, you know, if you don't want to get those banged up, kind of makes sense. You got the Rebel Off-Road stubby bumper, KC highlights from head to toe, and the back is the full uh, overlanding kit. I think these are the Rockslide Engineering side steps, or maybe unbranded for some reason. Uh, and then we got the Midnight Forest water tank. That is cool how it mounts right on this rack. Uh, the rack is the Rebel Off-Road Rack. Uh, nice, thin, uh, looks like aluminum or stainless steel, uh, but really heavy duty and I like how it's fully covered. Plus we got the uh, rooftop tent up there. Sweet overland build. All right, this is definitely a vibe behind me. You got the Apocalypse uh, six by six Jeep Gladiator. We're just gonna blur these out. Just blur that, this section. Uh, but this thing is pretty wild. You got the two doors here, obviously huge uh, forged wheels. I don't even know what to think about this thing. It is pretty wild. If you are still watching this video, we are giving away over $1,000 worth of Rome Adventure Gear products just to our subscribers. No purchase necessary to enter to subscribe. Hit the bell icon and leave a comment below on your favorite build that we have showcased and you're automatically entered to win in two weeks. We'll draw the winner's names and notify you through YouTube. That's it. Subscribe, bell icon, you're automatically entered to win some awesome gear.
Got a sweet little gladiator behind me. This thing has seen uh, some trail use. You got a clean lift with the Fox uh, Performance 2.5 adjustable shocks, fuel off-road, looks like true beadlock wheels. And then in the back, uh, I don't know what rack that is, but check out this trucked rack. Now, what I like about this is you can have it adjustable. So on this side, you see that it's only about half of the cab. Check out the other side. This crossbar comes over and then you have a full molly panel and the rack system on this side. So your rooftop tent could go below the top of your truck bed cover and it still works with the roll and lock tonneau cover system. This bumper uh, has a full size spare on it. As an AFN bumper, uh, I do like the fact that it's not in the middle, it's offset. So you could still have some jerry cans right here. Overall, really cool build, solar panels integrated. You got your mobile phone set up and awning. This thing is pretty much a motorhome on wheels. All right, we got YouTube royalty in or miss at the Magnaflow booth. Stepchild is here, the JL from Lightbright Studios. Uh, they just did a ridiculous wrap on this thing. Very custom, looks really cool. Doesn't even look like it's hit the trail yet. They actually just finished this. But you got the ADS long travel suspension, uh, Camberg, I believe, no, the anti-rock sway bar. And then I don't know the full details of this, but I will say uh, one of one wrap looks really cool. We're in the real truck booth with a Deutsch Off-Road Gladiator that is awesome. Orange and black motif from head to toe. Uh, plus, you got the Raceline wheels here, true beadlocks, the Fox uh, Performance shocks with a little piggyback setup in the back, reservoir shocks up front. You got the Deutsch Off-Road Aluminum 7075 Memory Metal Steering Kit that is gonna make sure this thing stays where you want it. Plus, there's some other little products here like the Rugged Ridge Front Stubby Bumper with the integrated Rugged Ridge Winch. And uh, I don't know what these are, what these are called, but check this out. If you get close in there, you got a little, little Jeep grill on your headlights, which are kind of cool. Up top, we got some, looks like Solus lights. I really like this, uh, no, it's a Go Rhino lights with a little light bar thing around it. That's pretty rad. Uh, and then the wrap is sick. The tubular uh, side steps are rad. And in the back, we got the full Overland setup. Uh, I'm a big fan of builds that do color matching and really tie a whole theme together. And that is uh, what you see with this rack. We got the rugged ridge rooftop tent and the full size spare mounted on a little swing on this uh, bumper. The bumper I believe is a rugged ridge as well. Um, great that you have a little tow hitch still right there. You got some great access points, but I think this is pretty cool that you could swing the whole thing out and it's not sticking out too much. It looks pretty compact and next to the build. Awesome build. I'm in the combat off-road booth with some awesome taillights. If you like uh, the look of aftermarket taillights, those are pretty sweet, but I really like these fenders and the logo. Um, I mean, two fenders, you gotta really like them, but the inner fenders and the fenders right here look really clean. And check out these doors. These are pretty awesome. Little switch right there. You can open up those tubular doors, take your actual doors off. And in the front, uh, the other thing that I saw, the front fenders are pretty sweet. And I like this little, uh, attachment for your uh, hood. It's rad. Awesome Rubicon. We're in the full throttle batteries booth with a ridiculous JT. Check this thing out. The Raceline wheels, true beadlocks. Uh, these are gorgeous. I love that gold bronze look. And I don't know what fenders these are. I don't know if you guys could tell me, but I've got a little Grim Reaper action. Still has that airflow, rock lights, and enough lights to power, uh, overpower the sun. We got some rock sliders right here. Really awesome wrap. I think these actually, uh, they, I think these come down as well. And in the back, uh, oh, Reaper. Reaper fenders with Fox shocks. Cool build, full throttle batteries. I got this awesome Gladiator behind me at the Best Stop booth. Uh, these doors are very interesting. Uh, they have the Best Stop uh, canvas material, but if you want a little bit of protection without having to. Hey, look who it is, Jason Taco Dust, hey, formerly known on, on Instagram. I just to show us same, how to close this. I just made the same mistake as he did. You gotta oh, lift activate it, it up. and lift it up. See, now I'm a pro. You heard it here first. Thanks, Jason. Always count on you. 
Uh, but this uh, this little canopy, I think is super rad. If you don't want a super heavy duty and like heavy canopy to weigh you down, I think this is a really good solution. Uh, super clean, love the color motif that they got going on here. And check out these side steps. So the best top side steps are really clean, rock sliders and also give you a little bit of support where when you lift your Jeep, some people need to get over, up and over and into it. We also got the 1552 wheels here, classic look. I love that styling and that gray along with this Seafoam green and canvas is really, really clean and beautiful. Great job, Best Stop. I'm at the Pittman Outdoors booth with some really innovative products for you campers out there. Check out the airbeds. So this inflates and deflates with the flip of a switch. You can take the battery out right here and recharge it. Use your truck bed as a tent. This just attaches to the edge. It's fully sealed and weatherproof, so you're up and out of the cold, wet ground. Really awesome product for any of you looking to just camp in the back of your truck, but that's not all. Check out what they got on the inside of this Jeep Gladiator. So let's say you have some kiddos that you don't want to sleep back there. Uh, they could sleep right in the back with this inflatable mattress. Really, really awesome. They also have awnings, refrigerators, coolers, Pittman Outdoors, check them out. Uh, really awesome products and pretty sweet camping rig if you ask me, even if you just want to camp in the back of the truck. We're in the air design booth with a ridiculous Willys Jeep Gladiator. Uh, check out some of the features on this. These fenders are crazy high, which if you were to rock 40 inch wheels, which I think this would fit, these are only 37s. You got plenty of articulation. I do like uh, the look of those. Almost mimics stock, but is upgraded, definitely. Um, the front grill, not my cup of tea, but it's not as bad as Angry Eyes. And on the side here, we got the infab side steps and uh, the DV8 off-road rack up top. Fox shocks, nothing crazy there, but the black wheels are pretty dope. Air design. All right, I'm at the Dana booth, and I know you've been asking yourself, Carter, why can't I fit 42s on my Jeep Gladiator? It's because you don't have Dana 60s in the front and Dana 80s on the back. Check this out. True bead locks with 42-inch uh, Nitto Trail Grappler tires. These things, I'm six foot two and that goes up to my waist. That's pretty impressive. You got metal cloak uh, fenders on there with the full King Overland setup. Look, uh, looks like we have some Rebel dampeners and then uh, the Rockslide Engineering side steps. This rack system is really rad. Is a Rebel Off Road? Yeah, Rebel Off Road rack system. But check out what's going on in the back here. Dana 80 power, that thing can pretty much power a monster truck or at least protect the monster truck's axles. That is impressive. That will be the last thing to break on this truck, I guarantee it. We're in the Lear booth with a canopy that I really like. Check this out. Not only does this open up, you could have some ventilation back there, but uh, this is like a fiberglass material that's way lighter than stainless steel and you could still, wrap, still mount a rooftop tent on top of it which was one of those things that you never could really have it if you wanted to go off-roading and overlanding, couldn't mount anything on top. The Lear solution is uh, pretty choice. All right, we got a truck cap behind me that is going to change the overlanding game. Mark my words, it, without any windows or anything, only weighs 65 pounds, injected fiberglass that holds 1,500 pounds on top. Insane compared to a stainless steel canopy that weighs a couple hundred pounds, this is gonna keep you nice and light. You could add windows to it and check this out. You got a full storage system right here. Last year we profiled this and this is phase two. It's the Venturous Ozark. Uh, look them up because the inside is ridiculous. You can have a ton of things. I mean, the amount of weight that they have on this is insane. Full on recovery. You could put some molly panels and is really sleek. And check this out on the side, uh, I'm a big fan of canopies that actually conform to the body line that make it look like it's a continuous vehicle. And this does that because with fiberglass, you're able to fold it and mold it into shapes that you just can't do with stainless steel. So this uh, product by LTA Manufacturing is pretty, pretty nice. We're the Overland Vehicle Systems with the Awesome Gladiator. Check this thing out. We got the Rock Slide Engineering side steps, the black rhino wheels paint color match to that uh, military army green plus in the back check out this mag pack full setup this is a great overlanding solution that gives you a ton of room and storage protects everything in the back and is stainless steel so it's going to be able to hold as much weight as you want to put up there while off-roading overland vehicle systems
Right, behind me in the Bulldog booth is an awesome bobbed uh, Gladiator. This thing is built by Deutsch Off-Road and is souped up to the nines. Uh, you got some KMC wheels on there with the ability to lock your front axles right on the hub, which is pretty cool. You got the Terraflex IR suspension lift with Dirt Logic Reservoir shocks, a little Terraflex speed bump, anti lock uh, sway bar, the Deutsch Off Road uh, 7075 aluminum memory metal steering, and then it looks like a Dana 60s on the front, probably Dana 60s on the back as well, with 42 inch tires. Uh, what's crazy is they actually bobbed this truck bed, so they cut it off. Uh, push it up so that now you have ridiculous clearance in the back. Uh, this rack system, I don't know what it is, but it is awesome. Uh, we'll post something later, but overall, you know that Deutsch Off-Road does great work and this is one of their signature builds this year. All right, I'm at the Seasucker booth with some awesome products that I think you might enjoy. Coming from a film background, we use suction cups on our vehicles all the time in order to mount our camera gear and accessories. And these guys figured out a way for you to be able to mount just about anything on the side of your vehicle from cup holders to tables to sinks instead of, instead of having to set up a table and do everything else just stick it on the side of your vehicle uh, these things are crazy heavy duty you pressure them up right there and they stick really well uh, they have just about everything mounted on this which is rad check them out c sucker uh, products i think this is really innovative and really cool for us overlanders and the award for sickest Jeep wrap goes to this Attica Jeep Gladiator. This thing is rad. Love the black, love the gray. These side steps are crazy awesome. You got 40 inch Mickey Thompson. I think those are 40s or 42s. Um, the Baja XLs and then suspension wise, you got the airbag suspension up front with the JRI shocks. Haven't heard of those before, but they look pretty sweet. And in the back, this full setup is crazy heavy duty uh, you got the mountain hatch right here which is rad full-size spare you got some wakeboard speakers the attica 4x4 rack system uh, this thing is not built for the faint at, of heart um, also these i don't know who makes these but these uh rear um brake lights are pretty rad those are pretty cool and check out this rear bumper that thing is gnarly i like how it's square actually that is pretty unique and cool This Rebel Off-Road Gladiator build is insane. Check out the suspension. Full king, long travel. You got a ridiculous canister right there with the Terraflex IR lift. This thing has definitely seen some trails uh, with some worn front lockers on the back. I don't know what wheels these are, um, but they look pretty rad. This says, leaf springs are for poor people. And that is definitely true because this thing costs a pretty penny. Check out this full canopy setup. Uh, you have some stainless steel or it looks like aluminum doors, a full rack set up on top. And then this Rebel Off-Road rear bumper is really legit. Love the color. Love how the Rotopacks kind of go inside so they're not sticking out. You have the Overland Vehicle Systems awning and the Rockslide Engineering side steps. This is one ridiculous gladiator. The sickest wheels of the show go to the Quake LED uh, Jeep right here. Definitely don't want to drive on them, but I'm pretty sure they light up. This is one of the Freak Show builds, similar to that Double Decker uh, Rubicondo. Um, you got the Road Armor fenders, which I really appreciate, but I don't know, it's cool, interesting, unique. Nice little Gladiator with a keg on the side for good measure. And of course, to make sure that you are more aerodynamic and less drag, you got the full spoiler on the back, which uh, you definitely need on this build. We got a cool Maximus 3 Gladiator build here. You got the really rad snorkel that comes up, the Rhino rack system on top, but check out this headache rack. You got a full on air compressor hookup right here, uh, which I like that the headache rack actually serves some functionality. Um, and then on the back, this isn't quite a tonneau cover, but a rack system that allows you to put a full size spare. I don't necessarily like them hanging off the back. I feel like it has too much weight, but I like this as an innovative solution. The only thing I don't like is you can't really reach in to grab all the things that you want, but if you want some additional storage that's heavy duty, I think this is a cool solution. We got this Kicker Performance Audio Mojave here. Um, not a ton up front, but in the back is really where the magic happens. This Alu Cab full canopy system uh, with a bunch of metal cloak parts, tons of gear storage. This opens up and you got a full motorhome on the inside. Uh, there's a little compartment that actually flips up so you can get up into the rooftop tent. Everything's enclosed, really awesome heavy duty system from how you get. 
This would be a sick build, but it has angry eyes, so. Vanguard bumper's kind of cool, though. And I really actually like these, uh, these tube fenders with the DV8. Uh, inner fenders are pretty right. You got the black rhino wheels. Those are not true bead locks, but check out these Vanguard side steps on this Gladiator and this headache rack, if you like it, is pretty rad. Also the basket system up here by Vanguard has a uh, chase light on the back and room for a uh, full on uh, light bar up front, which I do appreciate. Also check this out, has integrated little lights right here, which provide light when you step into your vehicle. That's pretty cool. Also this uh, system, I don't know who makes it XK, uh, it's cool if you want a light bar right here. The only concern that I have is you're literally just gonna be shining light on your hood, hitting glare back into you, but it's a cool solution if you maybe have a different light bar. We got a Rubicon JT behind me that is the Seymour. Quality paints and coatings, really awesome wrap job on this. I love that color. It's kind of like a gray brown gold, which is really rad. You got LP6s all the way on top. That's not easy to do, plus some LP4s on the side. And then check out this RSI Smart Cap. Uh, this comes up, you could actually access the interior. I love, this is one of my favorite canopies for the Gladiator for sure. You got the Roof Nest RTT. This thing is huge, absolute monster. So big that it even goes over the cab a little bit, but with that rack system up top, it's a, you're able to fit it. Uh, really cool build with some Black Rhino wheels. Black Rhino, star of the show this year. I'm seeing a lot of Black Rhino at this show. Oh, check this out. So those of you who are vertically challenged, it's hard to get up without any steps onto the roof rack. That's where this little step comes in. I don't know what brand this is. I know a couple of people make them, but that is a cool solution to help you get up on top of your rack. So I understand why Fab Four sells these because people are obviously buying them. And if you are the type of person that wants this uh, because you want a post-apocalyptic vehicle, I guess this is, your, this is your thing. The six by six Jeep with the extended truck bed, uh, you could fit a family of 14 back here, uh, plus some ridiculous DS18 wakeboarding speakers. That is a lot of power. A steam lift on this, I don't even know what to say about this build. I'm about to throw up in my mouth, but some people may like it. Not for me, not for me. Behind me is the General. Check out this Gladiator. I love the color. These fenders are super clean. And then you also have the Evo inner fenders with King coilover suspension, 42 inch monster Mickey Thompson's on there. But the back is really where there's some really cool stuff. You got the BA 4x4 side steps that you could jump up to access the rack. And then the TR, TY, I don't know, the Adventure Curler, I don't know what canopy this is, but it looks insane. I love that it's all color matching from head to toe. And this uh, spare tire carrier and bumper is what we had on our Jeep Gladiator. This thing swings out, uh, allows you to put huge uh, tires on the back, which you're probably gonna need because this thing is gonna get into some tricky situations, I guarantee it. Got a Deutsch off-road build here. I really like the rigid adapt lights on the hood. I think it's a really cool look. And these adapt lights get bigger or smaller depending on how fast you drive. The Cooper STT Pro tires with some fuel wheels. Those look like 18 or 20s. Uh, the Fox shocks on there, the Infab side steps, and then a nice little rough, uh, I think rough rack? Rack, I don't remember the name of this company. A headache rack if you like that sort of thing. Really clean, classy build that uh, you come to expect from Deutsch off-road. Behind me is a complete customs Gladiator. And what I like about this is the DV8 uh, inner fenders. I really like the look of those. The tube fenders are pretty clean as well. I'm not a huge fan of the camo look uh, with the wrap. It reminds me of like a cow or something, but uh, I think some of you watching right now will really like this. Also really clean stubby bumper and overall, you know, a classy build.